Hello, hope you're doing great. This is Mare Panni Rajan, your friendly software engineer. And in this video, we're going to see the two different types of packages that we can import inside of Python. So traditionally in Python, there was only one way in which you could make a folder into a Python package. It was by means of adding a file called double underscore init double underscore dot py. All right. So any folder that had this particular file, you know, automatically became a package. But now from Python version 3.3 and onwards, we have another way in which we could, you know, create a package. As a matter of fact, in our previous video, the packages that we created were using this new system, which is called namespace packages. All right. So now in this new way, right, from Python 3.3 and up, you don't actually need to add this double underscore init double underscore dot py file. You know, like as long as that folder path is, you know, part of that searchable list that we talked about in the previous video, that folder can be imported as a Python package. All right. So this type of Python package is called a namespace package. All right. So we're going to discuss more in detail about these two different types of packages, the regular package and namespace package in this video. So without further ado, let's get coding. So as you can see, we are continuing with the project that we were working on in the previous video. And I'll just quickly walk you through the folder structure once again. So basically, you know, like we have a projects folder and some other folder. And, you know, we have included the some other folder to be part of that Python path environment variable. And, you know, because we have done that, all the packages and modules that we put inside of this, you know, some other folder becomes available to us. We can import them inside of our Python projects. So, you know, that's the some other folder. And, you know, we have a projects folder and, you know, which in turn contains project one and two. And, you know, project one is what we are, you know, focusing at. And there we have our main.py file. Okay. So this is the, you know, structure and like you can even see the high level, you know, project structure over here. So, yeah. So you have your projects folder and your some other folder and in turn the some other folder has package one package which in turn contains module one and then you know like uh, your projects folder contains project one which in turn contains main.py and we know that we can import uh, module one from you know package one because package one is inside of some other folder cool all right so this type of package right so this package as you can see right this package underscore one doesn't have that underscore underscore in it underscore underscore dot py file which you know like traditionally you must have in order to make a folder into a package and here we can clearly see that we are not using that dunder you know dot py file but still you know we are able to import and we are able to make use of it so here this type of package right this type of a package which doesn't require this dunder in it dot py file is called the namespace package. As a matter of fact, if you just import the package underscore one alone, right? Like if you just import this and if you even print this out, right? It will even say what type of, you know, a module it is. So I'll just comment out the other print statements and let's just pass, put a pass over here. So if we run our code now, you can see that, you know, that is this particular, you know, package underscore one. It is a module and you can see that it has the word namespace, you know, inside the parenthesis, right? So this indicates that this particular package is a namespace package. All right. So that's what this is. So what does it mean, you know, to be a namespace package? So the main advantage of making use of a namespace package is this namespace package, in this case, package underscore one can be split across multiple directories. What do I mean by that? So here we know that this package underscore one, which is basically a folder is present inside this some other folder directory, right? Now this namespace package system allows us to create a package underscore one folder, even inside of another searchable, you know, path. For example, we know that this project one folder is automatically a searchable folder, right? Like uh, this, we know that the Python interpreter will automatically, you know, look inside of the project folder first to see if there is any package or module that we are looking for. So what we'll do is we will create, you know, a package called package underscore one inside of the project one directory as well. So let me just create a folder called package underscore one. Okay. Inside of the project one folder and inside of the, you know, package underscore one package, what we'll do is we'll just like, you know, I'll just make a, make a copy of this module one and move it over here inside of this package underscore one package, which is present inside of the 
project instead of our current project one. And let's also rename this to be module underscore one. And let's rename this particular, uh, you know, module which is present inside of this package one inside of some other folder to be module two. So inside of module two, uh, the say hello says module two says hello. And inside of module underscore one dot py, we have module one says hello. All right. So module one says hello and module two says hello. Okay. So we have these two modules, module one and module two inside of a folder called package underscore one. Okay. But the thing is this package underscore one, you know, the contents of the package underscore one is split across two different directory paths, right? So we have a package underscore one inside of the project directory. And we also have package underscore one, you know, inside of some other folder and the package underscore one inside of project one contains module underscore one dot py and the package underscore one inside of some other folder contains module underscore two dot py. Perfect. This is now getting interesting because the namespace package system allows us to, you know, like uh, import from package underscore module one import module underscore one comma module underscore two as well, right? So basically this package underscore one, which is present in two different, you know, locations, one inside of the project and the other inside of some of the folder. From this package, we are able to import module underscore one, which is present over here inside of the project directory and module underscore two as well, which is present inside of the some other folder directory. And, you know, like uh, to prove that this works, let's also, you know, like execute this code. So uh, let me just uncomment all these lines. And, and since we are directly importing module one and module two, we don't need to, you know, like use this particular syntax here. So module one dot say hello and module two dot say hello. Perfect. Now, you know, let's just run this code, you know, like uh, let's just uh, run this script and we can see that as expected, you know, uh, the main says hello. And then, you know, the module one says hello, module two also, you know, says hello. That's also getting printed, right? So this basically is the main advantage of making use of this uh, namespace packages. Basically the contents, that is the modules and the sub packages that you put inside of, you know, a particular namespace package could be split across multiple folder parts, as we can see here. So this was the namespace package. What about the regular packages? which has been with Python, you know, ever since time started, right? So the regular packages require us to add the underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file, all right? So only if that dunder init dot py file is present, that folder is considered to be a regular package folder, all right? So let's just, you know, like convert this particular package underscore one folder, which is present inside of the project directory into a regular package. And let's see what happens when we do that, all right? So in order to convert this package underscore one folder to be a regular package in Python, all we need to do is just add uh, underscore underscore in it, underscore underscore dot py file, that's it. Now our package one, which is present inside of the project directory is a regular package, all right? So, so that means the contents of this package underscore one can no longer be split across multiple directory paths, all right? So the contents of the package underscore one folder, which is present inside the some other folder directory are no longer going to be part of the package underscore one namespace, all right? As a matter of fact, it's even going to throw us in error when we run this script because, you know, it won't be able to find module underscore two uh, because module underscore two is present inside of, you know, this uh, second package underscore one folder, right? So, you know, like uh, right now, according to Python, since there is this dunder init.py file present in this particular, you know, package underscore one folder, only the contents of this particular package underscore one is considered to be part of package underscore one package. All right. So if we just run the script now, we can see that, you know, it clearly throws us an import error saying that module underscore two you know, cannot be imported. It's not able to identify module underscore two anymore because, you know, module underscore two is present inside of the package underscore one folder, which is inside of some other folder, okay, which is no longer taken into account. Only, you know, like the contents of this folder alone are taken into account because this is now a regular package. So this is basically the main difference between a regular package and a namespace package. The namespace package is especially useful when you want to organize the contents of your package across different folders. And if you're just, you know, like um, going to put all the contents of a particular package inside of the same folder, you know, the regular package 
you know, is more than enough. And with the regular package, you know, since you have this uh, underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file, you know, you can do a lot of cool things, you know, here, you know, when you're importing the module, you can maybe, um, you know, directly instantiate certain classes and you can even hide, you know, like uh, certain modules from not being imported, you know, when somebody imports this package and you can do a lot of cool things with this, you know, dunder init dot py file. And it's just, you know, up to you, whichever package style uh, you're interested in using, you know, like, uh, but just keep in mind that this namespace package is available only from Python version 3.3 and above, all right? So if you're using Python version 3.2 and below, the only type of package that is going to be available to us would be the regular packages, all right? So yes, these are the two different types of packages that are available to us now in Python. I hope this video was useful. And this is the last video of this series, Introduction to Python series that we have been doing. And totally, I believe there are 22 videos. And if you've been following along, I hope this series shed some light into software engineering and programming using Python. And I hope this series was useful. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again in another software engineering video series. Cheers.